Support comes from the Missouri Forest Products Association, providing more than 41,000 jobs in the production of wood pallets, railroad ties, white oak barrels, hardwood floors, and more. Details at choosewood.com. This is St. Louis Public Radio. It's Wednesday, May 5th. This is The Gateway. I'm Wayne Pratt. Efforts are underway to vaccinate people at St. Louis area homeless shelters and nonprofits. St. Patrick Center CEO Anthony D'Agostino says a successful vaccination program boils down to trust. There is something to be said about having them come to a place that they're comfortable, like a St. Patrick Center or Peter and Paul or, you know, another place that they've been to maybe trust the people who work there. The center has helped to vaccinate more than 200 people without a home since March. It has also sent people to the mass vaccination clinic at the Dome at America's Center. As nonprofits and shelters work to get more shots into the arms of the homeless, some leaders are pushing for ambitious vaccination goals. That includes Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker. He says more people getting the vaccines makes him cautiously optimistic Illinois will be free of most coronavirus restrictions by July 4th. Derek Cantu has more. With this new July goal for Phase 5, Pritzker is promoting the return of various Illinois events, including the Chicago Auto Show and the Grand American World Trap Shooting Championship in Sparta. Phase 5 means no more capacity limits on businesses or social gatherings, but will still require wearing face masks in public. But the governor says Illinoisans must remain vigilant, especially against new, more contagious COVID strains. We can't predict the future, uh, and this virus has proven to be very challenging. Uh, So we always are on guard. We're watching the numbers uh, like a hawk, but I'm optimistic. I think things are going in the right direction. President Joe Biden on Tuesday also made a COVID-related goal for the 4th of July. That's when he says 70 percent of adults in the U.S. should have received at least one dose of the vaccine. I'm Derek Cantu. A state disciplinary panel is investigating St. Louis Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner. Five on Your Side reports the probe centers on her 2018 prosecution of former Missouri Governor Eric Greitens. The specifics of the investigation have not been announced. A date for Gardner to appear in front of that disciplinary panel has not been revealed. Five on Your Side is also reporting Gardner's office released a statement saying she was in full accordance with the law. It also says several investigations have not found any wrongdoing. Gardner could lose her law license if this current panel finds evidence of misconduct. The Missouri House has passed legislation to crack down on protesters who block roadways. The legislation would make repeatedly blocking traffic a felony. The tactic is often used to draw attention to racial injustice. Protesters angered by the death of George Floyd blocked traffic on Interstate 70 last summer. The House also amended the bill to include provisions from dozens of other loosely related measures. The number of changes made to the Senate bill likely means negotiators will pair it back in the final version. A state senator in Illinois wants to withhold funding from schools that apply dress codes to hairstyles. School associations and the State Board of Education are worried the bill's punishment mechanism goes too far. Democrat Mike Simmons is from the Chicago area. He says the bill needs teeth, so schools take it seriously. As somebody who has been targeted and discriminated myself by schools and and has has been resilient in that, I don't want the next generation to have to go through this. I don't think it's a matter of education. I think it's a really straightforward matter of policy. The State Board of Education worries the bill's method of punishment would undermine the evidence-based funding system that's been in place in Illinois since 2017. The USDA is backing away from a proposal to force livestock producers to use electronic ear tags to track animals. St. Louis Public Radio's Jonathan All reports a group opposed to the idea is pressing forward with a lawsuit to stop it. The USDA twice has made moves pursuing the RFID tags starting in 2023, but opposition has led them to pull back earlier this year. The new Civil Liberties Alliance is continuing with its lawsuit against the USDA, saying the committees it formed to get information on RFID usage violated its rulemaking process. Harriet Hageman is an attorney working on the suit. She says if the USDA wants to pursue this, they'll have to start over. They've just recognized that we're going to continue holding them to the law, which is they have to comply with the Administrative Procedure Act. Opposition to electronic ear tags is over cost and information safety. The USDA does not comment on pending litigation. 
In Rala, I'm Jonathan All, St. Louis Public Radio. Some items we are following today in the St. Louis Public Radio newsroom. Greater St. Louis, Inc. is releasing an updated version of its 2030 jobs plan. The group has been collecting feedback from residents and local leaders on a previous draft since December. The most recent census numbers show St. Louis and St. Louis County are the only municipalities in the area to lose population between 2019 and 2020. St. Charles continues to grow. And recently inaugurated University of Missouri St. Louis Chancellor Kristen Soboluk will be on St. Louis on the Air. She'll discuss her vision for the school, which includes some significant program cuts. Shula Newman is the executive editor of St. Louis Public Radio, a member-supported service of the University of Missouri St. Louis. Music by Ryan McNeely of Adult Fur. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Wayne Pratt. The Gateway is a production of St. Louis Public Radio. Understanding starts here. Support comes from the Missouri Forest Products Association, committed to conservation and careful management of the state's forests to make them more resilient and better habitats for wildlife. Choosewood.com.